Okay, one more time on that security is in the service of the business, not the other way around. The service, the business does not exist to give us security jobs. The security uh, is there to enhance the business, to support the business, to make sure that the business succeeds. And so, uh, we are we are not just the knights who say no. I mean, we we do have to say no sometimes. We do have to warn uh, senior management about uh, certain dangers. Um, Oh, let's get into blockchain. Well, why? What what does blockchain do for us? Oh, let's get into cryptocurrency. Uh, that's pretty close to a scam, you know. There's an awful lot of stuff you need to know. There's an awful lot of technology that you need to understand if you're going to do uh, that type of thing, if you're going to get into that type of business. And do we have, in fact, that skill set? Or are we just on a, you know rushing to a fire uh, anyway uh, so um, we need sometimes to uh, to say no but we're not just saying no for the sake of saying no we are saying no because these are dangers because there are uh, concerns that we have to have because the risk is too great because it is going to be a danger to the business and in order to ensure that we are doing the right thing, giving the right advice, um, what do we do in that regard? What do we, uh, how do we assess that we are giving the right advice, that we, we are doing the right thing? Well, then we have metrics. Now, uh, business has business metrics that they measure in certain ways that they determine are we doing the right thing? Are we, you know, in terms of accounting, are we in fact getting uh, enough um, uh, money for what we're doing? Are you know is is uh, uh, is the business going to survive in in financial terms? That's a you know a fairly simplistic measure, maybe. Uh, and they're in security because we are managing a fairly complex and technical field. Then we have to ensure that we are doing the right thing uh, in a much more complex way. We have to uh, measure. Uh, gain metrics and we refer very often to security metrics but there's business metrics as well that, that we need to measure, that we need to assess uh, that we need to decide uh, are we doing the right thing, are we uh, uh, helping rather than hindering, are we contributing to the business, is the business doing well under our management of its security operations. Uh, there are a great many uh, sayings about metrics in the business world. One of the standard ones is, you can't manage what you can't measure. And, I mean, it's, it's a truism, and it, it probably is not universally true. But it is, uh, it is definitely something to consider. Um, and if we, you know, think we are doing well, but we can't measure it, we can't assess it in any way, we really have no way of telling. Uh, we are very prone as human beings to deluding ourselves um, in terms of thinking that we do better than we think we do. Uh, you know, 90% of people think that they are better than average at listening skills, that they are better than average listeners. Mathematically, that is impossible. So, 
uh, you know, they're, they're uh, we, we need to have metrics. We need to ensure that we are doing the right thing. We need to be able to measure and assess that, in fact, we are doing the right thing. Uh, so we need to, we need to set up metrics and we need to decide what those metrics are. Um, we need to ensure that what we are measuring does give us a true, uh, indication of what is going on. Um, the, uh... I suppose I should go back to the the business of the the opinion rather than data. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Deming, uh, very famous in management circles and in quality circles and that sort of thing. Um, he said that without data, you're just another person with an opinion. And as as someone else has uh, sort of put it. Uh, if, you know, uh, if we're making decisions on the data, let's look at the data. If we don't have data and we're just using opinions, let's use mine. Uh, you know, again, uh, you know, so we, we need the data, we need the performance indicators to tell us that, yes, we are doing the right thing or we aren't. And uh, base our decisions on that. Now, performance indicators, we have a... Uh, a standard uh, acronym here, KPI, Key Performance Indicators. And uh, that is actually, you know, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh yeah, yet another acronym here. But it really does help. It, it does explain what it is that we are looking for. Um, from the, you know, taking the back end first, indicators. Uh, Yes, we need indicators. Are we doing the right thing or not? Uh, key. Uh, well, no, performance. How are we doing? What are we doing? Um, are the indications... Let's go back to the uh, functional and assurance requirements that we talked about before. You know, the functional requirements are the actual tools. But the assurance requirements are, are the tools doing what they are supposed to do and even if they're doing what they're supposed to do are they in fact giving us a benefit are they doing what we think that they are going to do so we need uh, performance indicators we need indicators that uh, tell us how we are doing are we performing are we performing properly and right at the beginning key the key performance indicators. We need key performance indicators that do tell us, give us the information that we need to know about business, not just about numbers. So we, we need to do that. And uh, uh, Gary Hinson and uh, Broadby, whose first name I can't remember right off the top of my head, um, have a, an excellent book, Pragmatic Security Metrics. Pragmatic is an acronym, and next time I'm going to go through their pragmatic security metrics and what pragmatic means, and uh, we'll look at how you choose metrics for doing security and measuring what you are doing in security.